Okay, welcome to the Sawmill Scheduler demo. And in this demo, we're going to build on a couple of the uh, sound lists that we built in the music and announcements demo. So first, I'll import the um, the pre-show announcements that we created, and I'll also import the Santana album that we had created, uh, Santana music. So we've imported those two uh, lists, and if we bring up the automator dialog, you can see the two um, scripts that are associated with those sound lists have also been imported, and these lists play all of the sound items from those, those individual sound lists. So uh, the first one, the announcements, again, are set for offsets of 5, 10, 15, and 20 minutes. Uh, so once this script uh, is initiated, uh, these will get put. These announcement sounds will get put on the uh, play stack um, at those time offsets, and then the uh, Santana album simply plays every um, track of the album in uh, sequential order. So now let's create an additional uh, script. And we'll edit that script. We'll call it uh, run pre show. And we'll add two run script commands one to run the, the announcements, and another one to run the uh, album script. So now we've got uh, two run script commands, and they'll execute both of these scripts. And recall from the previous demo that the, the announcements have to go first because they're, they're offset uh, timed. Okay. Now, uh, to use the scheduler, now that we've got this, this um, run show script, all we need to do is enable it for the scheduler and set a time. So let's say our, our show starts at, at noon. So we just set that time, and now this show, once I click OK, will be enabled to run in the scheduler because it's uh, enabled for the scheduler. Now, to start the scheduler, we just click the Start Scheduler icon, and basically that's all there is to it. It's started. Um, we can re look at the schedule plan to see what's what's in plan to run and you can see that um, there's one script scheduled at noontime and it will run the the run pre-show script and so what happens is that at noontime exactly um, this this script will, will kick off it'll put the pre-show announcements on the the play stack and then start playing the, uh, the Supernatural album. Now the nice thing about using the, the modular, this modular approach is that you could use the same script to run for a matinee show or um, the evening show just by setting the uh, changing the schedule time um, and typically uh, since we, we've set the announcements at five minute offsets, uh, you might start this to run um, 20 or 30 minutes before the show. And if any of these uh, require specific timing, like let's say announcement four was uh, a notification that the show starts in 10 minutes, uh, take your seats, um, that would mean that um, you'd need to start this script at 30 minutes prior to the show so that's uh, one nice thing about having the scheduler is you can set it and walk away and, and do other pre-show preparations uh, and let the, let the scheduler determine when this started okay now I'm, I'm going to stop the scheduler and you see that the icon down in this um, 
right hand corner it disappears once you stop the scheduler to indicate that it's not running um, one other way you can use the, the scheduler is um, if we edit this um, announcement script you can actually schedule individual announcements so right now we've got them set for an offset time you could actually um, schedule these these um, announcements for a specific time. If, if it was critical that this one fired at 2 o'clock, uh, you can set the time uh, to, to make it uh, fire and then click Save. So now click OK. So this announcement is scheduled to, to fire at an exact time of day and once we start the scheduler um, one, th one thing you'll find out is that when you schedule play steps uh, they don't actually end up on the, on the scheduler plan until the script that holds those steps actually starts running so um, you should just be aware of that okay that concludes the, uh, the scheduler demo so um, thank you for joining and just a reminder, you may want to join the user forum to meet other SoundMill users and share solutions and ideas. Thanks.